Hello everybody, today we will be checking out the Canagro Cobb LED Grow Light. Let's get to the unboxing. Comes in a pretty small box. Once you open it, you can find the light itself. You can see the Cobb LED there and the aluminum reflector. There's a metalized housing. And you can see here it runs directly off of 110 volts, which is pretty convenient. And that is really about it. There's their logo. And checking inside of the box, there is nothing else. So pretty simple packaging. That's all you get. On to the features of this light. It doesn't come with any kind of hanging hardware, so this is how I hung it uh, from an IKEA lamp hanging upside down here. The only features I can say are that it includes the power supply in this small package and uh, a small little fan there to keep it cool. Let's get to testing and see how it performs. So looking at the power draw from the wall, I am reading 44 watts. In terms of temperature, the back plastic is 79 degrees Fahrenheit. This metal part here is 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside of these heatsink fins, 104, and the actual Cobb LED itself is 88 degrees Fahrenheit. So testing the PPF, I took 16 readings in a 4x4 grid, and these are the PPF values that I've got. My hanging height was 18 inches for a coverage area of 2 foot by 2 foot, gives me an average PPFD of 126 and a total PPF of 47. My power draw of 44 watts gives me an efficiency of 1.07, which is all things considered pretty inefficient, but you don't get this light for the efficiency. Um, the super high efficiency grow lights you can buy nowadays are two and sometimes even 2.5, but those are more expensive and more painful to set up. This is a screw bulb with a small power supply included and lets you screw it in directly into mains power, which I think is the draw of a light like this. You cannot even really do vegetative growth in a two foot by two foot air grow area with this. You're going to have to drop the hanging height and maybe focus it on one foot by one foot and you definitely can't grow any kind of fruiting or flowering plants with a light of this power. Um, all right, that wraps up my review of this light. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.